I was, what? I wasn't paying attention. Hello, everyone. Captain Clamp here. Welcome to Grog Talk. Today on our show, we have a real woman. Her name's Julie Lake. She's led us into her inner sanctum, not her vagina or anything, but her dressing room. And she's getting ready for her big show, Jolly Ship the Whiz Bang. Actually, it's my show. I'm actually the star, but she's in it too. Julie, so nice of you, uh, of you to be with us. Can I, can I um, just say I'd like to put my head on your shoulder? No, please don't. Oh, sorry. It's a little bit weird. Well, we have a lot of viewer questions on our show about you because a lot of our viewers have never seen a woman before, uh-huh. and they have a lot of questions about, well, you know, how that works. So hold on one second. Okay. Uh, okay. And we a big bag of mail. Now, our, I'm sorry, isn't this the first episode of this show? Like I said, a lot I'm of viewer, viewers have lots of questions. This uh, first question is from Bill T. Baxter. And he, he asks, Dear Julie, at what age does a woman Fuck. typically start shaving her legs? Um, well, that begins right after birth. Uh-huh. Of course, you know, the parents have to shave the baby for... A while, you just brushed my tit with your um, hand. Uh, what? That was not my hand. Anyway, the parents have to shave the baby for a while, but then uh, once the girl is around four or five, she can start shaving her own legs and pubes. Okay, mm-hmm. if she's a good girl. But what what happens if, uh, for some reason, a woman chooses not to shave her legs or her pubes? What do you mean? Like if she forgets to shave, or she just doesn't because she's, you know, in some country where they don't do that. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Like if a woman doesn't shave her legs. What are you talking about? What woman? I don't know, know what woman. I just, like, well, could that happen? No. Uh, uh, oh. No. Okay, well, that's okay. It's very illuminating. Well, let's move on to our next question. Uh, <clears throat> our next question is from T-Bone Malone, who asks, um, Dear Julie, I have some questions about the teeth in your and all women's vaginas. My question is, do you have a baby set of teeth that you then lose and you get an adult set, or do you just have, like, one set of teeth no, for life? No, you have a baby teeth. You okay. have baby teeth, and those actually come in um, farther toward the front of your vagina, and then you lose those, you get your adult teeth for the back, and that's actually for a good reason. It's because um, when you're a baby, you're not penetrated as deeply. Hopefully. Um, right, hopefully, so if you're lucky. Um, so you don't need those uh, adult teeth, you know, further back until you're a little bit older. Ah, oh, okay, that clears some things up. But actually, you know, there are so many um, misconceptions about uh, vaginal teeth. I just want to clear this up, you know, that not all women have uh, teeth vagina. All right, you like know, they, get, they, they can get knocked yeah. out, like in a fight, I suppose. Well, they can get knocked out. They can decay if you're not, uh, if you don't have proper hygiene. I... But um, actually, some women don't ever have them. What? Uh, yeah, I know, it's crazy. They have... Um, a more like beaks. Oh, like a like a bird and a, or a dinosaur. No, no, actually, uh, like more like something you find on the mouth of a giant squid. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, well, that would be great because then you you don't. You, what do you have to do? You have to uh, brush a teeth if if it's not tooth if it's just a beak. Well, you have to brush a beak. Yeah, a plaque can build up on a beak, but um, you don't have to floss. Oh. Obviously, so it's well, a lot easier. So that's what you want if you're a woman. You want the beak. <laughs> yeah, you want the beak. Well, what do you have? Is that, um, is that personal? That's a little bit personal. Well, I'll ask you that later. <laughs> and please, I sorry, asked you not sorry. to. Sorry, sorry. Well, that's enough um, enough yeah. information for one day. I don't want to blow anyone's minds out there, especially you men. <laughs> well, thanks, okay. Julie, for coming on the show. Thank you. It's, it's been a grand. pleasure. Yeah, I was talking. Wait till I finish talking. Please, woman. <laughs> um, thanks for coming. I was... I was. Do you want to talk? <laughs> I was Get out of my dressing room. Right. I'm done. It's been grog talk. <laughs>